guess the game expects me to know that when the camera shifts like that, I'm supposed to book it. I, I really, really wasn't aware. Of course, now I will have to collect my collectible again. It's so rude for us collectible collecting folk. What? Really, you're blocked by the tree. That's shenanigans. Shenanigans, good sir. But anyway, it is very rude for us collectible collecting folks to have to recollect our hard collected collectibles just because we die. Any game that has collectibles should not expect you to have to collect them again just because you die. And what's the point of this? Like, I swear to God, some enemies are supposed to pop here and try to melee my ass. Run! Oh, see, I didn't get that the first time. Oh my god. <laughs> Epic dive. Oh, shit, you scared the piss out of me, good sir. Wow, my heart just skipped a beat. It's okay, though, no, because now you're dead, because I put your butthole on the fence. Fenced in your butthole. Oh my god, I am so out of ammo. Hi there. Aw, oh, how come that shit's not destroyable? Eh, eh, eh. Meanie. Meanie weenie. You dead ass meanie weenie. Well, thank God that other dude wasn't trying to shoot me at all. Sometimes the bad guys in this game are just so considerate. Like, he was walking straight toward me and he didn't fire one single solitary shot at me. And then I was an asshole and just shot him straight in the head. Wow. I am so mean. Where are the collectibles at? There ought to be some damn dead collectibles around here. I mean, I suppose I should probably just pick up their SMG since obviously they don't have the ammo for my rifle that I need. So it would be better to have another weapon that actually had some ammo in it. But I, oh Jesus Christ, but I refuse to, to give up my assault rifle. Oh, I could have, like, blown your ass up or something. That would have been a much more exciting kill. Yay, I did a full loop-de-loop, -loop and now I am back to the beginning. And no collectibles. Never any collectibles anywhere. That better, better be goddamn collectible back here. Better be, but there isn't. Alright, let's blow this popsicle stand. I killed your privates for you. Well, not personally, I didn't kill your private, but... Your private's dead. Well, By private, I mean your I penis. I saw him. He was speaking with the devil's hand. He deserved to die. But he was killed before I could find out what it was. Did you speak to him? Yeah. He looked, uh, defeated. Lost. Sorry. Thanks. Thanks, Jim. I'll need to look into this. Your bike is set to go. Explosives line the base of the engine. Real hard to spot. Now, get out of here. You gonna give me the timer 
for the explodey bits. Cycles for psychos. With the bike rig, Jake puts his plan to lure pretty boy. I'm gonna zoom into action or something. Can I have the timer for blowing stuff up? Lord, that's magnificent. Well done, Jake. I should give you an even thousand, of course, but seeing as you're still quite new, I think I'll make it 750. Bitch. Take it or leave it. Sounds fine, Bernie. Pretty boy is quite a powerful man and has no time for idiots. Although he'd never speak with someone like you in person. Of course not. I'm sure he'll be very pleased with your acquisition. I'll try to remember to mention you to him. Oh, I really hope you do. Too close. Copy that. Hey, we were already here. Time to invite Pretty Boy out for some fresh air. This is where I had my five some. With my two penises and four sexy ladies. Oh shit. Uh, what? Okay, I detonated it. <laughs> That's what you want to call that. I really hate these machine gun sections because... Oh dear god, is the control twitchy is all shit. It's so twitchy. I, mean, I guess it's fine if they run at me in a semi-straight line or... Some such things. I blow that up? I should totally be able to blow that car up. No. Indestructible car. Indestructible it is. How rude. How rude. I'm a trying. You know, maybe you could start up the old engine and do some ducking and weaving or something, because sitting here like dumbasses seems like a really bad idea to me. I mean, so far it's working out okay, but it still seems like a really bad idea to just sit here in one place. You're putting an awful lot of faith into my shooting abilities, old man. Yeah, I was just about to line up a headshot. Oh my god, this pretty boy, he's taunting us. Ew, he's not pretty at all. One of them ironic there nicknames. Because he's so goddamn ugly. Ew. Got a little something on your face there, pretty boy. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, maybe I wouldn't have appreciated it if he had drove around a little bit more, because this makes it even harder to aim. Like, I thought the aiming was shitty when we were just sitting in place. Oh, epic jump or not. <laughs> you have some serious balls to drive up here, dude. Wow. You are crazy. Maybe I shouldn't aim down the sights. Maybe that would make things a little bit better. Probably not. Clear the ambush? What ambush? There's no ambush. I see no ambush. Oh. Hello. Thank you for ambushing me. Come again. Oh, that was a beautiful headshot. Um. You guys really suck at ambushing. Oh shit, I must shoot the blinking blue dot of my objective. 
Could you do it any slower? Well, you could, so... Thanks for not moving slower. And who the hell was kind enough to put all of these conveniently placed 2x4s all over the place so I have somewhere to drive? I will surely have to thank them later. Keep this dang straight, Mac. Or not. Keep it crooked like your penis, old man. Ew. You gonna start chucking dynamite at me like that other asshole? Fine, I'll do it myself. Like, he has a shotgun. Just, like, back the fuck off. Why would he magically get away after a certain amount of time? Holy shit! That is a whole lot of bullets all up in your ass, sir. I have no idea how these sections work, because it doesn't seem to be, like, damage-based. Like, oh, you shot him 50 times, you won. Just seems to be like, okay, if you shoot them enough times before they get to a certain location on the map, then we will call it a victory. And if not, you failed. See? Like, I have no idea if that was because I shot him enough times or what. Why not? Rejected. He's coming with us. Why? I still don't see why it was necessary to rig the bike up with dynamite. And I, oh, I didn't kill him. I thought I broke his face. Well, pretty boy. I was told that you wanted to find me. Here I am. So I saved you the trouble, and I found you instead. Cut off his junk. Dick, aren't you? Yeah, I'll show you, private Funny. dick. Wait, no, I won't. Why were your boys after us? My brother and I haven't done shit. There's a reason why everyone in the hand knows the Conway name, Jake. Truth is, we'd given up looking for you a few years ago. Thought you must have joined your old man in the grave. What? No. He left. My God, Jake. Have you really been kidding yourself all this time? Come on. You really don't know? <laughs> Didn't that idiot uncle tell you anything? Oh, poor Jakey. Jake, Jake, Jake. Don't be so gloomy. I'm very happy to have the opportunity to tell you that there has been a kill order out for the whole Conway bunch. Your daddy, your mommy, you, your baby brother, and in the big old rule book, kill orders are for life. So what happened? Oh, I don't know. One day we were looking for him, next day Caesar says he's dead. Happens all the time. Why should we question him? And where is this unquestionable leader? I didn't get these scars for my candor. One thing I will tell you is this. He's stronger than you, he thinks faster than you, and he is ten steps ahead of you every single minute of every single day. And he was built without an off switch, and he will not stop until you are eating the very earth you're walking on. Now I'm scared. It's been a pleasure, Jake. Pleasure's all mine. Come on, torture time. <laughs> Did that kill him? 
<laughs> what the hell? Oh, no. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> I get it. You're done. One last question. Where is he? Look for the fresh ink. I think I spelled his name right. Really get a refund refund from your tattoo artist. Oh, that's gonna suck ass. <laughs> Dude. That was vicious. Pretty no more. Although he was never pretty to begin with. He is pretty no more. Ah, that was quick. I wonder how many missions that was. Wow, that was six missions? Holy crap. We're going to be beating this a lot sooner than I thought. Julia, ooh, come back here, you pretty, pretty little sexy, super sexy bus VW van. I want to ride you, goddammit. <laughs> Rejected. So apparently there's only four missions left. Wow. Guess we's gonna be mopping it up. Let's go murder us some Caesar. Or Kaisar, as they like to say in Fallout. Rest in peace, Mikey. I love you, little brother. Max in trouble. Jake and Mac visit Mikey's grave to pay their respects. I eh, couldn't read that one either. Oh well. Rest in peace, Michael. Mikey, Why did you tell me, Mac? You always said he disappeared. Pretty boy told me there was a kill order on us, on all of us. I knew about the kill order. I knew they wanted Toledo dead. He told me himself. But not you two. You was just boys. Besides, Toledo made me promise I would never tell you. Neither one of you. My job was to protect you from the devil's hand and raise you like you was my own. I'd done that. Best I could. I just never thought they'd come after you all. Not after all this time. How'd it start, Mac? God damn it, Jake. You know I hate breaking a promise. <laughs> Your daddy once raised a guy with a gang named John McCain. But it wasn't your normal cash race. It was to win a girl. Whores! Mama. Oh, shit. My Lee mama was a whore? High. You got drunk. Gambled her when you ran out of money. Oh, snap. Don't give me that look, boy. William weren't no saint. He was my best friend. Something was messed up in him. Made him do stupid shit sometimes. And he lost the race. But he was never gonna hand your mama over to nobody. No, she was furious when she found out what he'd done. You and Mikey was just little. John was a violent son of a bitch. And he went on a rampage. Talking up a storm about traitors, his property, and all sorts of shit. And then the fellas in the gang, well, they bought into it. Toledo brought you boys over one night saying he had to leave town. Took your mama with him. He made me swear not to say anything. He ran. Same as I would have done. John? John was insane. I mean, fucking insane. Following after Toledo to God knows where. Then some folks came back saying your parents were caught and killed. Others saying John never found them. He made the story up so he don't look like a pussy. Caesar. John McKenzie? I reckon so. That motherfucker got all wound up running the hand and forgot he had a score to settle. Oh shit! <laughs> No, don't die, Mac. No.
Mac better not die, man. Mac, you okay? Just a flesh wound. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Is that my bike? <laughs> it's gone. We gotta get out of here. Is that my bike? So Mama was a whore. Or a potential whore. Guess she never fully realized her whore potential. 